Hey, what's up guys? My name is Eternal. Welcome to episode 35 of Game Programming. So last time we took a look at this screen dot set offset method that we made here and how that, how that actually controlled the offsets of our tiles on our screens. Now, well, what we're actually gonna do today is render those tiles. So if I go over here to level, we've got these four corner pins that we actually talked about a few episodes back and we actually need to um, apply them. So in other words, if I open, our, if I open my, um, my game, you'll notice that they're the four corner pins, right? So in other words, what we, what we sort of want to do is render from this side of the screen to this side of the screen for X and from, that, from this side of the screen to this uh, part of the screen um, for Y. So obviously that's going to be just a for loop. So let's talk about this now. So four, and we'll, we'll manage Y first. Four in Y equals, now before you type zero, we're not actually gonna be, we're not actually gonna type zero because that's, you know, not necessarily gonna be zero. We're gonna type Y zero because Y zero is the top part of the screen. So for Y equals Y zero, Y is less than the bottom part of the screen, Y one, Y plus plus. And we're gonna do the same thing for X. So four in, and remember this is inside, whoops, that uh, this, this X that, well, that I'm about to type right here is inside the Y, um, the Y loop. So it's a nested for loop. Uh, four in X equals X zero, X is less than X one, X plus plus. Now I'm gonna explain this code real quick. Um, if I open up our window, we know that Y zero is up here, Y one is down here, right? X zero is this left side and X one is this, whoops, and X one is this right side here. So what I'm saying here is I'm saying that we want to render from the top part of the screen to the bottom part of the screen. So every number in between this very top pixel up here to this very bottom pixel over here. And I also wanna render every, every single um, pixel from this, this left most pixel to the right most pixel. All right, that is what that code is doing. It's cycling through every number between the top and bottom and the right and left, or well, the left and right technically. Um, okay, sweet. So what I wanna do now is actually, you know, get the right tile to render. So we can do that very simply, simply by calling this get tile method and then accessing. If I go back into our tile class, you'll see that we've got this render method in our tile. And if I go into, the grass tile, for example, you'll see that what that render method actually does is it renders, it calls the screen's render tile method and actually renders a tile onto the screen. That's what we wanna do, right? We wanna render a tile onto the screen. So we'll simply call this get tile method by typing get tile. Now this is important because we wanna be able to get the right tile to render. Um, now it's not actually very hard. All we do is we type X comma Y and that's it because we need to input the X position of the tile and the Y position of the tile. But remember, this is, these are those positions. All right, we're dividing, remember we're dividing everything by 16, so we're getting it into tile precision. And I talked a bit about pixel, pixel precision versus tile precision a few episodes ago. And so what we're doing here is by dividing this X scroll value by 16, we're actually, you know, being like, all right, every 16 pixels equals one tile. So in other words, when we actually look up this, in, this array here um, on a specific index, you know, we're saying that at, at these two coordinates, what tile is there? And then we find out that if in that array, the tile at these, this X comma Y coordinate equals zero, then yeah, we're returning a grass tile. Otherwise we'll just return a void tile. So that is all we need to do because remember these values are getting, getting their, this Y here and this X, they're getting their values from these corner pins. And th those corner pins are in tile precision. So that's it, that's, it's as simple as that. You know, we've, we've managed to get every pixel on the screen in into tile precision so that our program actually knows what tile is where and which tile ends where and starts where. So in other words, it knows that the first 16 pixels, for example, is one tile. So now that we've called the get tile method, which is brilliant, what we need to do now is actually render them. And rendering them is very simple because, you know, normally when you're calling a method, you just end it like that and that's all fine. But remember, this method isn't just a void method. It actually returns a tile. You can see here that it returns a tile. And so we can actually use it to access our tile class, um, like this tile.render class, um, 
as if as if it was just you know as if as if it was just tile dot whatever so let's get rid of the semicolon and we'll simply type get tile x y which will return us some kind of tile object and then simply dot render and now we need to actually fill out these details which are extremely easy as well they're actually all there on the screen for us already so we're going to render them at these positions and that's it that is actually going to render a tile onto the screen um now one thing i want to qu quickly mention here is why we can do this now you'll notice here that in the tile class which is right over here um we've got this render method and it's not actually doing anything you can see that it just sort of exists there but there's no code inside it and you guys might be like you know why is it there then it doesn't really do anything why is it there because the thing is if we actually you know do this so if we remove it i'm just commenting it out which is the same as removing it really you'll see that we actually get an error here and you guys might be like but hang on a minute i'm trying to render a grass tile if i go to my grass tile the render method exists but the thing is we're returning a tile we're not returning a grass tile if we're returning a grass tile yeah that method will work but we're returning a tile so in other words even if it's returning a grass tile object the actual method needs to be in the tile object because the thing is java can't just assume that we're going to return a grass tile every time what if we're returning a void tile and what if void tile doesn't actually have a render method because for example i don't know it might not render like it does in this case but if it didn't have a if it didn't have a render method and we returned it it would crash because we would just get method not found so java actually says that all right if you're if you're using classes that extend other classes the actual super class which is in this case tile it has to have a render method it has to have a method it has to have that base method so that you know, worst comes to worst, I'll just run nothing. I'll just run what's in this code if I don't find it in our subclasses. So I hope that makes sense. Um, it's not actually uh, very easy to understand, but you know, if you think about it a lot, I think you will be able to understand it. But um, yeah, so this line of code over here, get tile x y dot render, it's going to get the um, the appropriate tile at that particular location, and it's going to render it also at this location on the screen. And that is it. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Game Programming, guys. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.